Uh, I am Dr. Patrick Jones. I am an associate professor in the Department of History and at what we call the Institute for Ethnic Studies here at UNL. I'm in the African and African American Studies program uh, at the Institute. And uh, I live in Omaha. That's one of the unique aspects of my life. I, uh, I'm, uh, I do modern U.S. history and uh, political history in particular. And in the broadest sense, what I'm interested is uh, in the intersections of formal politics, institutional politics on the one hand, with informal politics. So protest politics, social movement politics, the kinds of politics that happen outside of formal institutional workings, and uh, cultural politics. So the ways that formal, informal, and cultural politics intersect to uh, make social change. So the, the big question I'm interested in that connects with, with all of my work really is uh, how social change, meaningful and lasting social change happens. My first book was, uh, it's called The Selma of the North and it focuses on the, the civil rights struggle in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um, there was a powerful uh, movement from the late 1950s through the mid-1970s in Milwaukee, as there were in cities across the urban north and Midwest and, and West. Um, this provided me the opportunity to do a kind of case study on the northern movement. I didn't have a lot of models um, for my work when I was a graduate student. This came out of my graduate work, my dissertation work. Um, most scholars that looked at the urban north and race relations looked at ghettoization and, and issues like that. There weren't a lot of movement scholars looking at, at struggles for racial justice outside of the South. So it gave me that opportunity to look at one place and to see the dynamics of the civil rights and black power era there. And then Milwaukee has a, a significant role, not only locally, but nationally, in that the open housing campaign there that stretched from mid-1967 into mid-1968 um, really played a central catalytic role in passage of the Fair Housing Act of 1968, which, as I call it, is the kind of forgotten Civil Rights Act of the 1960s. And so just like Birmingham played a catalytic role in spurring passage of the 1964 Civil Rights Act, uh, and the Selma Voting Rights Campaign played a catalytic role in helping spur passage of the 1965 Voting Rights Act. The open housing campaign in Milwaukee uh, similarly played a catalytic role in helping gain passage of that uh, Civil Rights Act or Fair Housing Act of 1968. All kinds of interesting dynamics uh, come to the fore when you look at movements outside of the North and so um, about black power or about um, gender um, within the movement, about tactics and strategy, about the ways that struggles for racial justice <clears throat> um, don't merely and only take the form of marches and demonstrations, um, but take a whole lot of other forms as, as well. Um, and so I'm, I, I'm interested in continuing to tell these kinds of local stories in the urban north. I grew up in Cleveland, Ohio, so my current project uh, book project focuses on um, contested meanings of black power in my hometown of Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, and I look at, again, everything from formal politics to uh, social movement politics to, to radical black power politics and the, and the cultural politics of, of race um, in the post-1945 um, era. So again, mainly the 1950s, 60s, and 1970s.